Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sorry. Not in my city, not in my town. The other night, me and Alex had our first kiss in Newcastle and it went down really well until everyone was drinking and things took a turn for the worse. Ah, 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 sorry. Not in my city, not in my town. So I felt really mugged off and I did get really upset. So I was crying. I just necked on with him. And then he said that he fancied me friends. I'm just standing there like an absolute freak. It was just an awful feeling to know that I've kissed someone and then like he's been going around saying that about me friends. Like, who does he think he is? <laughs> I mean, that looks really wrong. It's getting a bit weird now. I'm going to go to bed. Alex it does think Abby is attractive. Obviously, Abby would never go there and do that to her friend, but it is a bit muggy. To me, he came here for Sophie. Chloe actually stuck up for it, which I really like. Stop it! Don't go close to her. Sorry. Sophie likes a man, not a person who gets a gravioli on them. You were supposed to be getting with Sophie tonight. Me, as a girl, that is so disrespectful on my friend. Like, Sophie is literally been hurt in the past, just broke from a long-term relationship. He is a waste of time. Last night was a crazy one. I've got a little bit of apologising to do. Um, but hopefully everything will work itself out, because I, I do generally like Sophie, but um, at the moment I think I'm on the rocks with her, because um, she was actually really pissed off. Alex has had cake in his face. Who knows what's next? Joy Show Fire! more content the way me and Alex are now. I mean, it is just what it is. I'm glad that Sophie and I are on good terms. Sophie and I have a really good connection. Holly keeps feeding me a drink and it's fucking disgusting. I think I'm gonna be sick, but I need to try and hide it. Oh no, there's more. Oh my God, stop, do not drink that. What the fuck is this? Is this the famous brown ale that everyone goes on about? Abby, I'm gonna get you back for that. Oops, that was the wrong fucking glass. Come on, guys, even I am not that rank. Hello, party crew. Hi. A little bit late there. Hey! Listen, I'm, I'm only just coming to say hello. I can't be asked to say, but I brought a mate along to keep his company Amazing. and help you out. Who? Ladies and gentlemen, divvies and dickheads, get ready for a blast from the past. Come in, son. It's Kyle. Fucking yay! Oh, oh my God, it's Holly's ex, Kyle? Oh. How are you? I haven't done Tash on tours in a long time. When Scott asked, I couldn't resist. All right. Yeah, right. Yes. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's so good seeing Kyle, because it's been ages, but I don't know what Holly's going to say when she finds out he's turned up for work. It's a bit awkward, because Holly's back. Spanner in the works. <laughs> I might have forgot to mention to Kyle that Holly was in the house, but then when I come to think of it, I did that on purpose, and I don't give a fuck. Would it be awkward? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Holly didn't split up on the best of terms, but it's been two years since then, and I'm pretty sure we've both moved on by now. Kyle, have fun, kid. Oh, see you later. Yeah, thanks, I, I know I give them hell and that, but it's only because I love them. Sort of. Jody Show Fire! I'm sorry for everything that happened, and I'm sorry for everything that happened outside the house, inside the house, There's it's no, fine. No need to apologise. Like, you were you, I am me. We were together, it ended. 
and I just hope that you learnt from the situation that we were in. And you learnt as well, from me? I learnt to not be treated like that, huh? Ouch, that was harsh. But here, I'm actually trying to be nice. It wasn't just me, Holly. No, no, I, honestly, we were young. It is difficult. I see it in Chloe and Sam, like I do. I say to Chloe, I'm like, please don't let him take away who you are. I lost a lot of myself in the relationship and I never want her to do that. I lost a lot of myself in you. <laughs> Come on. Babe. Oh my God. It's so clear, speaking to Kyle, that he still believes that he was at no fault during our relationship. Kyle, you need a fucking reality check. Young lad in a relationship who doesn't really want to be in the relationship, you hadn't lived before me. You hadn't gone out and done all the threesomes and shagged about and done whatever you wanted to do. You needed to do that. Holly's right, but I did love her. And looking back on it, the relationship probably just wasn't right for me at that time in my life. You yeah, told me I would never be with someone who would treat I us with respect. That. Okay, well, now I'm with someone who really treats us I'm with happy respect. For you. Just like and you'd be happy with me with someone else? Of course. I, I honestly hope you find someone who makes you change, who makes you think that you <laughs> can be an amazing Jesus person. Christ. Well, I don't know why you're getting so like frustrated. I just, person. I have grown up a lot since me and you. You don't know that. I hope you have. It's been a you. long I fucking time. It. But I'm in a fabulous situation. I know. I'm the I'm best person I've ever been. And one day I hope that you can have that too. Thank you. I appreciate that. You want a fist bump? <laughs> Me and Kyle will never be mates, but we've spoken open and honestly to each other and as far as I'm concerned, it is done.